Hello and welcome to Let's Play River City Ransom EX for the Game Boy Advanced. Here with here is your host as usual, uh, Madurai Brit. I stuttered my intro. Quality. Keeping it. Okay. Uh, for the settings today, I have put on normal difficulty. Attacks varied, which means that both weapons and my punches and kicks can hit my allies. I'm going to be playing as just Ryan. Uh, I've played this game many times in the past, so I'm pretty sure I kind of remember what to do. But honestly, the last time I played it was a couple years ago, so I'm pretty sure I can remember. And this shouldn't be too long of a let's play. So uh, let's get started. Now, uh, if you don't know, this is actually a port, or I guess a remake, a remake of an uh, old NES game, River City Ransom. I actually prefer this one, and a lot of people prefer uh, the NES one. But I just really like the things they added to this, like you can make your own posse and everything. But this is all t one of my all-time favorite games for uh, Game Boy Advanced. These are the frat boys. They're by far one of the weakest gangs. Oh, I'm already forgetting the controls and it's like two buttons. All right, so if I want to get the team of people that I want to, I need a lot of respect. Respect is an invisible stat in this game. They're all running away. Inve uh, respect is an invisible stat in this game. It goes up every time you get knocked down, every time you get hit while you're down, every time you beat up a gang. Uh, I think it even goes up when you die for some reason. Uh, it basically just goes up by fighting clean fights and winning. Although losing helps too somehow. The way you lose respect um, is by hitting people while they're down. Um, I think that's it. Hitting people while they're down and low blows. Stuff like that. Because I'm pretty sure there is an ability where you just start gas pedaling the guy. Now, I picked Ryan, and his ability is, uh... I don't know if throwing people loses respect to him, might. Um... But Ryan's ability is he can throw a flurry of punches quickly, and uh, Alex, the other character, his is uh, throwing a bunch of kicks. Now, I want to change the settings a little bit under options. Uh, restock to every. That way, every time I go into a shop, it'll have new stuff. Oh, that was some weird crackly audio. I hope that didn't turn out on the recording. Just gonna buy some stuff here. I really don't remember what gives you what stats. I had a pretty good grasp, grasp of it back in the day, but I don't remember anymore. All I remember is always go to the bookstore because willpower is good. I think it's called like Indian Seer or something. I remember that being a good book. Indian Lore, that's it. And I know swim magazines get your toughness up for some reason. Go out, go in, anything good? Scandal rag. Why not? Eating stuff and breeding stuff is how you get your stats up in this game. Killing just gets you money. Indian lore. Punch increased, kick increased, agility increased, willpower by a lot. See, I knew that was a good one. Just all around better. Willpower by oh, okay. I think I've almost got my willpower maxed out. Willpower, by the way, uh, if you run out of health, your willpower starts to drain. Oh, generic dudes, they're the weakest gang. Oops. I'll bludgeon you. Uh, sorry, I keep getting distracted by the video game. <laughs> it's not good when your Let's Player gets distracted by playing games. Um... Willpower. Willpower is how hard you hit, uh, how big of moves you can take before you get stunned, how big of moves you can take before you get knocked down. It just all around makes you better. Ah, uh, this is one of the guys that only join you if you're Ryan, but I don't want him. He's, he's pretty good, but I want three other guys. I can't get all three of them if I have Rick. Yeah, yeah. Come on. No. 
You always have three different things of what you can say. Three different four. I'm dumb. Four choices of what you, what you can say anytime you uh, are talking to someone. I believe if you do anything but say no with Rick, he'll join you. Like if you say nothing or if you say I don't know or whatever, he'll join anyways. Shut up already. There, he just teleported away. Uh, I think the first boss fight I have is in the next area. The dragons, they're a weak gang, but they're really annoying. They hit and run a lot, throw rocks. Ow. Get back. Ah! <laughs> throw a person at you. They're probably the most annoying gang, them and the entrees, except for I like fighting the entrees, because they run away a lot, but they drop a lot of money. Take a rock with me. Oh yeah, I remember, this is where you fight Moose. First got um, Goss. The first boss. I am a- fucking stupid. Pylons! This is a fun weapon. Hey, made me drop my pylon. Oops. Oh, I want to be careful with the ledge. It's an instant kill. If you die, you go back to the nearest city and uh, lose half your money, which sucks. Also, I think my willpower goes down a lot for dying. Oh, another thing that makes you lose reputation, if you hit a boss before he finishes talking. You gotta let him finish. Now, Moose actually suicides himself very often in this stage, because his special move is the shuriken where he jumps at you, like that. So if you stand at the ledge, he'll often just fly off. <laughs> now, I want to see if I can fight him again, because I know you get a lot of uh, reputation for beating, uh, reputation, respect, whatever it is, for beating bosses. Now, an easy way to get reputation or respect or whatever, I think it's respect. An easy way to get respect is letting people hit you while you're down. Like, you're just staying on the ground on purpose and letting them just beat the crap out of you. So, it's good to do that with a weak gang. It, yeah! I really hate... There we go. Killed a man. I really hate the punching ability and stuff. I find it's a lot funner if you just turn it off. Technique. Won't use Mock Punch. There we go, I can do punching combos now. There, I prefer turning off Mock Punch. Uh, I don't need anything here. God, I love this song. Hi, Roxy! You know, gangs never appear whenever someone's talking to you. Why can't I just bring Roxy with me to despawn gangs? Now, I know Benny and Clyde are right above me. You know, an obvious take on Bonnie and Clyde. If you don't know Bonnie and Clyde, then shame on you. I'm sure most of you know, though. Oh yeah. By the way, the other day I got this wonderful comment on, uh... The first episode of my Let's Play of uh, Civilization V. Some guy was freaking out on me because I'm not f flawless at geography. But, you know, sure it was a negative comment, but I'm still happy that the guy watched my stuff enough to pick out the flaws in it, and that I think he enjoyed it, my videos at least, for him to sit through them and watch them like that. So. I really respect that he would uh, not take it at face value and actually start looking through them. I think that's nice of him. Jesus. God, I hate that. Yeah, this is their thing. They kind of hit and run a lot, and they can do boomerang tricks when they throw weapons. I don't know what the point of throwing brass knuckles is. See, now we're getting to the part where the bosses are actually kind of a challenge. Moose wasn't a challenge. I don't hit very hard, especially with Mock Punch turned off. Mock Punch is just too cheap. Get over here. I don't think they can hit themselves with those weapons when they boomerang them. I don't think I have very high weapon skill. I gotta keep them from getting weapons. Whenever you hit someone with a weapon, they drop it. 
Damn it. I'm gonna have to turn on the mock punch. Oops. Here we go. Yeah, I thought this would be a good game to let's play because not many people have seen it. And the only other guy I saw who let's played it. I mean, not to sound not to sound like a jerk or anything. Maybe he just doesn't have the greatest computer and uh, can't handle the file size or something. But he recorded it by uh, by pointing a camera. In. I just think I can deliver a better quality than that. I mean, I upload in a uh, 1080p now. I, I know the pointlessness of uploading 1080p of a Game Boy Advance game. I, the screen is tiny. But, you know, I, I still think people appreciate the quality. Okay, now if you read there what he was saying, you saw that line about needing to hit the sauna. That's because whenever I find the sauna, they'll be there next. Now, I need to go heal up. I think I have some donuts on me, actually. I should have used that. I hear Murray at the door. Why is it he has to ruin all my let's plays. I can hear him meowing out there. He can last 10 seconds. Actually, I'm gonna try and record this all in one go. I forgot to start my watch again. <laughs> oh god, I'm unprofessional. I would stop doing these things, but I have fun doing them. Antidote 12. Willpower up, maximum stamina up. And I remember Lion's Milk being really good. Defense up, willpower up, stamina up by a lot. Oh yeah. I wish you would shut up. Antidote 12 gives me maximum health though, so I should get a lot of those. Love potion. Let's see what this does. Gives me a rock hard erection to beat my opponents to death with. Increases my toughness and gets me health. Okay, that's not that great for 10 bucks. The Eagles! Not only are they named after an awesome band, <laughs> but they're annoying as fuck. They have these special chain, like lengths of chains that are extra long. Good weapon though. You actually do more damage if you do a running start to your attack, even if it doesn't make sense like a chain whip. I'm trying not to hit them while they're down, because I want to keep my respect high. But this is a pretty strong gang. Like, their health isn't that great, but they have good weapons, they do good damage, drop good money. At least for this point in the game. Like, believe it or not, I'm about a quarter of the way through the map, probably. It's a really short game, but it's got a lot of replay value. It's because it's like, it's an NES game, essentially. I love S- or I love NES games, I almost said SNES. Well, I, I love SNES too, but I grew up on Genesis. I don't care what anyone says, Genesis had a great sound system. You ever played Streets of Rage? Hell yeah. Actually, uh, my, uh, my one and only fan slash friend, uh, Nogalite, I, uh, I told him to download Streets of Rage the other day on Virtual Console. Should get back to him on that, see how he likes it. By the way, I, I just name dropped him. I should name drop him again, Nogalite, because I name dropped him in my Let's Play of, um, my Let's Play of Amnesia the Dark Descent, which I did with two of my friends, and it was really, really funny. And all of the- and for some reason, the entire thing came out without the audio. The I had to scrap the entire thing. It was like eight hours, and we found all these hilarious glitches, like how to whip a uh, chair through this one window that doesn't open. Like, you just wiggle the chair around this one window and it warps through. And I had to scrap all of it, and all of my horrible Chris Benoit jokes that are extremely offensive. By the way, I'm not even talking about the game again. Um, these are the jocks. They mostly use weapons. I think they use tires and brass knuckles a lot. But they're not a very strong gang. Small chain length. Lame. I gotta be careful with throwing weapons, because they rebound in this... Uh, I set them to rebound and hit me for more realism, I guess. I should really use more charge attacks, they're really good. Asshole. I really need to get some food and stuff to get my stats up. <laughs> No! Yeah, these gangs are starting to get tough for me. Next boss is gonna be a bitch. I think the next boss is... He's one of the... He's... Whoever the leader of the, uh... 
the mob team is. They dress in black. I don't remember his name, though. He looks like a nerd. But he ran off. Oh, yeah, he's right in this warehouse. Generic dude's this late in the game. I mean, it's not very late in the game. I'm not even halfway through yet, but... Still, the generic dudes, I can one-shot them. Almost. I can one-shot them if I run. Get over here. Money! They don't drop very much. <laughs> that didn't work out. Get up. Oh my god. Yeah! <laughs> and he throws up as he falls down the cliff and breaks his neck. Hey, a brick! Oh, the Mafia, they're tough. They use tires a lot for some reason. Yeah! Okay, that should have killed him. I re <laughs> I re you got a running start and threw a brick into his face. Die! Ow. Yeah, so I'm recording this really late. I mean, not like late at night or anything. I mean, I really should have recorded this sooner. This is the day that I upload the last part of Civilization V. And by the way, I don't know why, but I tried like 50 times, and uh, Civilization V, the uh, last, no, second last episode of episode 15, would not upload on Blip. I have no idea why, it would freeze up at the exact same point every time, but upload on YouTube just fine. And every other part upload on Blip just fine, so I don't know what that was all about. I think these, this gang might be too tough for me. If I'm getting beat up this badly by the gang, the boss is gonna be horrible. Holding a gun by his legs, I'm gonna have to turn on Mock Punch. Reactivate my ability. I'm still trying desperately not to hit people while they're down. I forgot I sell items. Donut! Still uh, hardly any health. And a bit more health. Okay, that wasn't much. At least it keeps my willpower from draining more for a little bit. <laughs> I love how I can run around holding people and throw them at others. Hope I don't lose respect for that. <laughs> Now, you'll notice that every single gang has a guy that shows up at the end that looks the same. It's just... Ah, the guy who just punched. Um, yeah, he's kind of the boss of each gang. He's slightly tougher than your average gang member of that gang. Come on. Oh, I better not lose respect for that one hitting him while he's down. Rocco, that's his name. I have to look up for this guy. He's got a really annoying ability called Slap Happy. Um, <laughs> what the hell was that all about? Come on. He also uses the platforms a lot. Beat you to death with a brick. <laughs> I'll just mock punch the hell out of you. Gets up fast, I'll give him that. Oh, he's gonna charge up for a kick. Damn it. I hate when bosses start to lose, uh, lose a lot of willpower so they get up slower and then they get knocked down by really weak attacks. That, that was slap happy. He's got, also got a charge punch he does sometimes that flings you across the stage. Over. <laughs> you know what two games have always reminded me of each other in the humor? And they're not even that close, so I don't know why it reminds me of it. But Earthbound and River City Ransom. I love Earthbound, by the way. All three. Yeah, I guess you'd call it the Mother series if you're gonna talk about all three. Just die. Finally! 